Good morning, dear students of Senior 1. Today we are going to have revision, Senior 1, Unit 1, concerning the vocabulary. Number one, vocabulary. The first word in the vocabulary is adolescence. Adolescence is a time in a person's life between childhood and the mature adulthood. Adolescence is a time in a person's life between childhood and the mature adulthood, teenage. Number two is emerge. Emerge means appear, come out or up from water, etc. Example, the swimmer emerged from the lake. Emerged means appeared from the lake. Number three, confrontation. Confrontation means angry opposition, face to face as we see in the picture like this. The confrontation between government and the nation was so serious. Still with the vocabulary and vocabulary number four, is the word spatial. Spatial means a very wide, concerning or existing in space. Example, the living room in our house is spatial. Spatial means very big and wide, as we see in the picture. Next is the stereotype. Stereotype is the image or the idea or the character. Example, he doesn't conform to the usual stereotype of the city business man with a dark suit and rolled umbrella. Means he doesn't look like a businessman because the businessman should wear dark suit and an umbrella. The next vocab is the word symptoms. Symptoms means changes in the body that indicates an illness. If you are sick or ill, so there are some symptoms that appear in your body. The next word is the word verbal, means oral, spoken, not written. He gave excellent verbal answer to the questions. Next is the word gender, masculine or feminine. Gender means masculine or feminine, man or woman. The places of the metro are classified according to the gender. Places for men and places for women. The next vocab is the word uh, decade. Decade means a period of ten time. Of 10 years, sorry. The period of 10 years is a decade. Example, we are in 2021. 10 years ago, it was 2011. Many important events happened in the last decade. In the last 10 years, there are many events and many things happened uh, during these 10, these 10 years. The next uh, vocab is the word consistent. Muhammad Salah is consistent player. We can always count on him. To have a good game, we can always depend on him. Consistent means a person whom you can depend on. Depend on him to have a good game. Exercise number two, exercise. First question, choose the correct answer. The adolescence, the stereotype, gender, spatial of a Canadian is a person who cut down trees and plays hockey. Of course, it's a stereotype. Number two, a doctor looks at the gender, decade, symptoms, confrontation of an illness in order to make his diagnosis. The answer is symptoms. Number three, vital, gender, stereotype, spatial, discrimination, is illegal in many countries. The answer is gender. Number four, during stereotypes, adolescence, uh, st 
stereotypes, adult sense, symptoms, decayed, teenagers of 10 prefer the company of their peers to that of their family. During adult sense. Number five in 1960s were considered to be a gender decade emerge vital of the great change in our culture. A decade of great change in our culture. Number six, Louise is a verbal, consistent, spatial doctor. We can depend on her to perform this serious operation. The answer is consistent. Number seven, 20 pe people were injured following a violent stereotype, gender confrontation, adolescence with the police. And the answer is confrontation. Number two is the structure. Now we are going, uh, I'm going, I'm going to explain for you the question tag. The question tag are short question placed at the end of the statement. When the speaker is not sure about an idea. If I'm not sure about an idea, today is, is Tuesday. I'm not sure, so I have to use a question tag. So here if you find is in the sentence, you should use isn't it. Isn't, it is a question tag. So the question tag is a short form placed at the end of a statement. When, number one, the speaker is not sure about an idea. Number two, the speaker expects the addressee to agree on an idea. If I expect you to agree on my idea, I, I use the question tag. You know me well, don't you? Don't you? You notice in the lines above that the question tag is negative. If the idea is affirmative and the vice versa. Uh, if the idea is affirmative, you know me, this is affirmative, so the question tag should be in the negative. And vice versa. If the statement is in the negative, so the question tag should be in the positive. You can ask me for help. Can't you? Why do you say can't here in the negative? Because the sentence is given in the affirmative. You can ask me for help. If the sentence is a negative, so the question tag should, should be in the affirmative and vice versa. You won't repeat the same mistake, will you? The negative form of the question tag is always contracted. Uh, we shall go for a walk. Shan't we look at not here in shan't? You'll find it contracted. It's wrong to say it shall not N O T. Wrong to say to write it N O T. It's wrong. You should write it contracted like this. Shan't we? No, not shall not we. The negative form of am is aren't. I am earlier than you today. Aren't I? Uh, there are irregular negative forms. What are the irregular cases of the question tag? Number one, neither of us has finished. The, uh, Neither of us has finished. Have we? Uh, neither here plays the role of not. Neither of us has finished. The question tag is have we? No one can resist pizza. Can they? No one he, no here plays the role of not also. She is never late. Never plays the role of not. Not is she? Question tag. They hardly admit their mistakes do they if there is no auxiliary in the statement use verbs to do tony prefers our company doesn't he they believe every word we say don't they we forgot to check in didn't we why why do we use didn't here and before we use does 
and you don't because according to the verb given the verb here for god is in the past simple tense that's why we should use did we don't find the not so that, that's why we have to write an apostrophe t not in the contracted form didn't we if the verb is in the present simple such as prefers before or believe we should use does doesn't or don't you don't like eating out do you 